Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on these no boxing, no life lace-up training gloves. So check it out. Okay guys, so today we're doing a close-up weigh-in and review on these no boxing, no life 14 ounce of lace-up training gloves. I got mine in metallic red. These are their made in Mexico versions. I previously did a review a couple years ago on their Pakistan gloves that weren't, that were pretty underwhelming. I wasn't really happy with those. <clears throat> and I've done several review on their fight gloves and I finally got a pair of their training gloves. Um, so you can see here, it does use full leather construction with this metallic red. It says no boxing, no life on the back of the glove. And you also have this rubberized uh, patch that has the raised up lettering. It says no boxing, no life, the championship line. <clears throat> the inside uses this uh, polyester nylon liner. You have about uh, almost an inch of medium density foam padding on the back of the wrist. It also says 14 ounce, no boxing, no life, uh, made in Mexico with this tag. Um, the inside wrist has again about, uh, I'd say an inch, uh, three quarters of an, an inch of padding. And you can see the piping on here started to uh, kind of peel already, which is a little bit of a flaw I wasn't really happy with. And um, you have the same amount of padding on the inside thumbs side. Nice long flat laces that are high quality, which I like. And show you guys the wrist padding and the stitching and the metallic right there. You can see how it has that kind of reflectiveness to it. Piping right there, a ventilated holes on the thumb, as well as this grip bar, which is nice and large. And the latex foam padding is really soft. This is definitely more of a puncher style glove. You can get excellent feedback and pop with these gloves. But if you're looking for something more protective as far as shock absorption and you have maybe sore knuckles, then I would recommend either getting a gel pad with these or getting a different glove. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale, see how much these weigh. Hopefully they're close to their advertised weight of 14 ounces, but you never know. And uh, we'll see. So the right glove is right at 12.8. So it's about a little over an ounce underweight. And the left glove is at 13.6. So about 0.4 ounces underweight. So they're a little bit off of each other and both underweight. Um, not a huge deal for me personally, but it would have been nice to see that the gloves were a little bit more on point with weight with each other as well as uh, being exactly at 14 ounces. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on these 14 ounce lace up no boxing, no life training gloves. I got mine in this red metallic colorway. You can also get it in blue metallic. I believe they have uh, a gold metallic um, and a couple other colorways to choose from. Uh, now, before I go any further into the actual review of these gloves, for those of you wondering where you can get these from, um, the No Boxing, No Life website, both their uh, their Mexican website as well as the one here stateside, um, are both showing that there's no inventory. So again, um, as I've mentioned before, I think they may be going through some kind of uh, restocking or resupplying, or maybe they're revamping their website. I'm not too sure what's going on. Uh, with that being said, the individual seller that I go through is Jorge Villanueva. All of his um, details and information will be in the description box if you're looking for these training gloves or their pro fight gloves. So make sure to reach out to him to either email uh, reyes.fightgear at gmail.com or you can reach out to him on his Instagram and uh, send him a direct message that way. Now, with these gloves, I was really interested in these because I have tried their pro fight gloves, which are made in Mexico as well. And a couple years ago, I tried out their Pakistan made training gloves, which I was not really happy with. The quality was pretty subpar and just the overall construction of the glove wasn't up to par, uh, especially considering that their Pro Fight gloves were much better. Uh, so uh, a couple months later, um, they actually ended up coming out with their Mexican made training gloves, which I have here. So I had to get my hands on these and I finally did. And I've been using these for about a week now in my training. So I have a pretty good idea of how these perform. Um, first things first, looking at the design of the glove. One thing I wish they had, and maybe they will come out with later down the road, is solid colors. Currently, they just sell the training gloves in this metallic colors, which not necessarily a bad thing. I just think that some, there's 
people that don't like the metallic colorway and metallics typically uh, kind of wear out quicker than solid colors just because of the way that the metallic is bonded to the leather. So you have that no boxing, no life logo on the back of the glove, full general leather construction made in Mexico. Latex foam padding that you can see it has a much more softer feel, especially over the knuckle area. Nice par parallel thumb with an attached thumb right there. And the glove actually has kind of a wide looking profile, which is a little deceptive. Once you have your hands in there, it doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't feel like a really um, open hand compartment where your hand scoots around. But there are a couple of uh, opportunities there, which I'll, I'll mention here in a little bit. Uh, so you can see the parallel thumb right there. Um, you also have these nice long flat laces that are higher quality than your typical laces that you typically get. You have the 14 ounce tag right there. It also says made in Mexico on the opposite side of the tag. Polyester nylon liner metallic red piping, about a three quarters of an inch to an inch of padding of medium density on the back of the wrist. Same thing on the inside of the wrist that goes all the way up here, right here, as well on this side. Double stitching throughout, ventilated holes on the thumb, as well as a pretty nice large size grip bar right there. So outside of that, the only designation you have is gonna be the logo on the back, as well as that rubberized patch. Now, quality-wise, these, these gloves are pretty good. Um, there's a couple of areas that I noticed that could have def definitely been done better. And um, this right here is the thumb, and you can see just from me sweating, um, you have a little bit of the metallic starting to rub off. And that's just a week of, of training with these. So over time, the more I use this, the more of this is gonna and eventually wear out. The other area I found that was an issue, which I showed you guys earlier in the close-up, was the piping already tore right here at the bottom. So to me, that you can see the metallic piece kind of just kind of ripped open so that's definitely a quality issue right there um, you can also see a little bit of wear and cracking on the metallic on the palm side so hope hopefully you guys can capture that on the video but there's some hairline cracks right here on the grip bar and again i've only used these for a week so that's my main concern is the durability especially with this metallic on how well it holds up especially to sweat and well as uh, as heat since I live here in Phoenix it gets really hot so those are my main concerns is the way this metallic wears and you can see a little bit of wear the actual foam padding has stayed consistent I haven't had any issues there um, you can see that the glove has a little bit of a top heaviness to it um, even though that there's the padding right here that has a good amount of support this should have been a little bit stiffer so that you don't get that much flex and bend in the middle of the glove like that Quality of the glove, I'd say overall, you know, if you can get, get all of this areas fixed, like a piping and all this stuff starting to flake and wear on the metallic, it would be much better if they can get that taken care of. The inside liner, I haven't had any issues with. It does a good job of wicking away moisture, so I have no complaints there. Now, comfort, <clears throat> sliding in my hand in here. So my initial thoughts when I did the unboxing and first look was the gloves were really comfortable. And they are to a certain extent. What I ended up finding was my thumb started to jam. So uh, this, this thumb initially, when you put the gloves on, doesn't feel bad. But the more you start using it, once you have your hand wraps on and you make a fist, I found that the tip right here would start to kind of push into my, my thumb, the tip of my thumb. So the thumb definitely needs to be a little bit longer and a little bit more room. My thumb ended up jamming. The other issue is, um, one thing I found is that if you look at this glove, it kind of angles that way. It has kind of a tapered angle to where my hand is not is directly in line. Like my, my index finger is like re wanting to go that way more. So what's ha happening is I find that this finger compartment is too far to the outside. By that I mean my hand, let me take my hand out. It's hard to describe it. So my hand is sitting in here like this, right? I'm, I'm making a fist or my thumb is to the side. What's happening is my hand is almost like going in the glove like that. And what that's doing is it's forcing my index finger right here is jamming into the foam to the side and it's creating more room on the outside of the glove where it just, the, the ergonomics are a little bit off. So what ended up happening is my index finger starts to rub a lot. The more I would use it, I felt like my index finger is rubbing right inside here in the inside of the finger compartment uh, because of the way that the, the, the I guess the, the finger compartment is kind of shifted over to the outside more where I feel like if this was brought in this way a little bit better then my hand would have and made it a little bit deeper on this side so if the, the finger compartment 
was brought over this way and deeper for the index finger. Like, I'm trying to see if I can describe it and adjust it. Then my, my hand would have proper ergonomics, but with, because of that, I feel like my finger is kind of like it's twisting my hand a little bit, if that makes any sense. So I tried my best to describe it. So, you know, as far as the broken and feel, that's excellent. I like the way the, the liner feels. The, the, the finger compartment's nice and deep. I just feel like the angle of it and the way it's positioned makes my index finger rub a little bit too much. And then the thumb being a little bit too short. Outside of that, everything else feels really good. Nice solid wrist support right there when it tightens up. Nice broken in uh, feel, so I have no issues there. The liner feels good. The piping on here doesn't pinch down. The thumb is too short and this finger compartment's a little bit off and those are my two complaints. Uh, protection and performance, again, this glove is definitely more of a puncher's glove. Um, when you land, especially on a denser filled heavy bag, you will feel your knuckles go through. A lot of people like that, some people don't. It's just your own personal preference. But even if I land some good shots on this water bag, I can definitely feel my knuckles sinking in. Um, so for those of you that are looking for that Mexican puncher style glove, this will definitely suit what you're looking for. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves are, well, just depending on where you purchase them from, but if you go through Jorge Villanueva, the individual seller, he sells the training gloves for $200. Uh, their profile gloves for 300 um, when no boxing no life if they ever come back with their website i believe they're selling these training gloves i want to say for like 160 to 180 dollars i can't remember to be honest with you guys but um, currently these are going for 200. Um, i definitely think there's better choices out there for the price point that you're paying at around 200 dollars I know Leaders make some uh, training gloves. Leaders USA makes their Mexican training gloves, and I, th I think they sell those for like 170, uh, 169, 170. Uh, and I think those are just as good, if not maybe not better than these, in my opinion. So uh, a little high on the price point. Um, obviously, the name and the marketing really carries that uh, a far away uh, in terms of marketing it and being a little bit more of a legitimate name for, for people that are out there, like people that look for grant boxing gloves they might not necessarily better be better than winnings but because it's grant people want to buy it so it's kind of the same thing with no boxing no life in that regard so uh, overall decent pair of gloves i think there's a couple tweaks that need to be made um, in terms of the construction of the glove especially the finger compartment and the thumb um, the leather quality is really nice i just wish they didn't just come with metallics and uh, some of the durability issues are definitely a concern especially at a 200 hundred dollar price point so if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the links in the description box where you can find these training gloves. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.